Sadly enough, these wheels have been painted black. I'm going to disassemble them because I'm going to try and bring the chrome back. I'm going to disassemble them, measure the spokes and order new spokes. And then I'm going to try and remove this old paint and hopefully this will come out all right. If I look here, some of these spots are actually not too bad. So I hope these rims are saveable. Let's start by removing the spokes. Yay, we got our first one. Now I can measure them. I don't think they're the same as a rear wheel. I think the rear is shorter. Yep. I removed some of the old spokes. I was able to measure them and I found them online. So I'm not actually going to bother with removing each one of them. I'm actually just going to do this. As you can see, I just went ahead and uh, cut them all with the angle grinder. I'm not going to bother by removing each one of them if I'm going to replace them anyway. It just takes way too long. I'm going to cut the other one so I have both rims apart. There we go. There we go. Two rims and two hubs completely free of spokes. If you're going to try this by yourself, please be careful because some of these are under tension and will snap. As you can see, I've already cut my hand with it. Not too bad, so maybe you wear gloves. The black paint on the wheels needs to be removed. I've already did some test pieces with paint thinner, but it didn't work that well. So I went to the store, bought some paint remover, and uh, I'm going to spray it on. Let's see what what this can do. So I'm just looking into the parts that have been sprayed with the paint remover. However, I see the paint remover dries, completely dries up. So some parts are actually, I don't know, the paint is coming off, but I was suspecting this to go easier. Let's see, let's just spray it again. Maybe it becomes wet again. Maybe that's easier to remove. I've never worked with this stuff before. Oh, here we go. It's actually working pretty good. I'm curious as to why these wheels have been painted. They, I don't see a lot of rust. Maybe just a little bit of rust here, but nothing that's too bad. I've seen far worse than this. After some cleaning, we got some chrome back. They have some rust spots, but I'm not too worried. It's not too bad. I have far worse than this. A good polish will also uh, help with the, with the rust, but uh, I'm happy. This is much better than the black wheels. Now we still got some black hubs that we have to remove the paint from. The method is the same paint remover, scraper, and a rag. So I'm probably not going to show this because it's the same and I don't think people will watch me paint removing for two or three hours. So uh, see you in five seconds. The paint is off. It came out all right, I think. They need a good polish. Um, the hubs are also removed. These need a very good polish 
the aluminum is very dull due to the paint. Um, the rear hub. I think it's savable. But we will need a lot of hours of polishing. Look at this. The wheels haven't polished and they have been re-spoked with brand new spokes. I didn't do it myself because I've never done it before and I'd rather have a trusted person do it that knows what he's doing than me trying to fool around with spokes and making 15 attempts. So uh, these look very nice. They aren't perfect, but overall I'm pretty happy. Way better like this than in black. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll be able to find some new ones or, or use ones that are in better condition, but right now these will go on the bike. We got all the parts for the wheel. Let's try to complete this front wheel first. So we got the tire, the tire ribbon to protect the inner tube from the spokes and the actual tube. Let's go. So always make sure to check the direction of the tires, if you have directional tires, if you have bi-directional then it doesn't really matter, but in this case this is the front, like that, this is the moving direction when we're driving, in this case the disc for the front brake is at this side, I've just checked on the black RD50 and if we mount the tire like this that will be correct. First B is on, as you can see I had to use some WD-40 to lubricate it because this thing was not going on. It's very cold in here and these tires are super stiff. So the tube is in, the valve is in its place and it's all locked up so it can't move anymore. Now the hardest part is to get the second bead on. After struggling for an hour and managing to stab my tube twice, um, I gave up and I went online to search for a solution. So how I stab my tires is using these irons. They're used to remove your tire and not to mount them. I always tell myself I'll be careful and, and not stab them. It'll work this time, but every single time I've stabbed my tube. <laughs> I hope I quit doing that. So I fixed it. And I went online and found a solution to mount the tires. I've tested it out with the rear one and it actually worked. So I hope it works the second time while I'm filming this to show you. So the trick is you use some zip ties and you wrap them around the tire so the tire gets as small as possible. Let me show you. Yes, I have to use two ties because these are too short. Squeeze the tire as hard as you can, so this way the tire is as small as possible. Do this all around, maybe 8 or 10 times, and then I was able to fit the tire. So let's do it again. Just 
just a last check for the tube not being all smashed up. And it should be fine. So we have a dry direction like this. And looking at the black one, the wheel should go in like this. Okay. It's on! Yes! <sighs> Christ! After splitting chains, this is the second most hated thing on bikes. <laughs> no need to go to the fitness after this. <sighs> All you have to do now is cut the zip ties. So when you do end up using WD-40 for some lubrication, please clean everything off with some brake cleaner or any other cleaning solution because WD-40 will leave a uh, greasy residue on a tire and that's not something you want on a tire. So just a quick... Let's inflate it first. Oh no! Yep. I don't know if you can hear this. We still have a leak. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Okay. I'm going to do this again, but uh, I'm probably not going to film it because it's the same procedure. Oh, Christ, this is so depressing. Okay, see you in a bit. There we go, two tires mounted. There's just one more little thing to do, and it's a little finishing touch. We've got this happy cylinder valve cap. I thought it was pretty funny, so I ordered them. Yay, there we go. Next part, we're going to start looking at the suspension so we can maybe get a rolling frame ready. So if you like the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to follow the build. See you then.